welcome back to Mr. Mig's classroom. I'm Mr. Mig, and today what we're gonna learn about is the principle of even and odd numbers when working with binary code. Okay? So last time we looked at a few different numbers. This was one, one, zero, one, zero, and we learned that equals 10. Right? And we, let's say we have a different number, one, 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 one. Right? So we learned this time, last time this equals 10, right? And, I, and this right here, I said last time, equals 15. But without doing the math like we did last time, I can look at these numbers and I can tell you right away, right, so let's take those away, I can tell you right away this is going to be an even number, even if I didn't do the math, right? Even if I did not do the math and I didn't know what that equaled, Right? I would know that the top number, 1010, 0, 0, would be even, and the bottom number, 1111, 1, 1, 1, would be odd. Why do I know that? I know that because of the last digit. Just this number right here is what tells me that. Those, the last digit in the sequence, because here's why, folks. The last digit is going to be 2 to the power of 1, or sorry, 2 to the power of 0. Right, 2 to the power of 0, and that equals 1. Not only does 2 to the power of 0 equal 1, it's the only odd number, because after here, we start doubling. 1 doubled is 2, 2 doubled is 4, 4 doubled is uh, 8, 8 doubled is 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, so on and so forth, right? Well, this is kind of like a principle of how numbers work. Being that this is the only odd number, I know if it is absent, the number has to be even. And if it's present, the number has to be odd. Why? How do I know that? Well, I know that because an even number plus an even number will equal an even number. Right? Example. 2 plus 4 is 6. 4 plus 6 is 10, right? Doesn't matter what it is. 10 plus 4 is 14. An even number plus an even number is always going to equal an even number. Right? An odd number plus an even number, sorry, plus an even number is always going to equal an odd number. Example, uh, 2 plus 3 equals 5, right? 3 plus 4 equals 7. Odd number plus an even number is always going to be an odd number. Well, in binary code, since all of the other numbers after the first digit, right? Remember, we're doing powers of 2. So 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, right? After 2 to the power of 0, all the other numbers greater than it are all going to be even. We know that because they double, right? And an even number plus an even number, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 doubled is 8, 16, 32, so on and so forth. Because they're all even, right? An even number plus an even number always equals an even number. Right? So we know they're always going to continue to be even. Because they're all even, if the odd number is not there, it's always going to give us an even number. If the odd number is there, then it becomes an odd plus an even, which will give us an odd. So the only time we can get an odd number is if we're using 2 to the power of 0. If we're not using 2 to the power of 0, it will be even. Right? That easy. And just so I don't leave you hanging here, whoops. Odd, just so it's said, odd plus odd, in case you're curious, what's that? That's also always going to be even, right? So say 3 plus 5 equals 8, 5 plus 7 equals 12, so on and so forth. Hey, thank you for watching Mr. Mix Classroom. Make sure to share, subscribe, and like my videos. Stay tuned for next video.